Okay, here it is. The gearing configuration we would use to measure torque in a mechanical system or uh, dynamic torque. Let me start at this end. This blue shaft and blue gear is the input. <clears throat> this red shaft and rear red gear is the output. This yellow shaft is where the output force is going to be measured, specifically at the tip of this yellow shaft. To better capture that, I made a little pointer. And we have a scale. And then I made this shaft, this disc, uh, a little bit larger in diameter to help my hands get a better load or resistance. Uh, the input mechanical energy is going to be this electric motor to connect the two. Use this coupling, 10 millimeter hex on this side, 12 millimeter hex on this side. Um, turn the scale on. Turn the motor on. Okay, so I want to show a couple things to explain, you know, what they are, just so that there's no questions. Um, let me start here. Take this off. This is a, um, I call a shaft clamp. It's just two halves that bolt together onto the shaft. You know, it's to prevent things from moving. In this case, it's to prevent this gray gear from sliding off. Uh, and there's four of these. Um, there's another yellow one in the back. There's a red one and a blue one. Just to keep things from not moving. Uh, the second thing is this gear. Um, <clears throat> there's actually two bearings in here. I'll show you. So there's there's one gear, um, and then there's a spacer, a 3D printed spacer I put in there, and then the second gear. Um, and then you'll see six of these um, green towers, each, each one has a bearing in it. So that's how that is. So. I wanted to show that this system can run with just one of the gray gears. And, you know, if I take this gear off here and put this gear back on here, you know, it'll, it'll still work with just, just one, this one gear. For the torque calculation, so torque is force times the moment arm. The moment arm is this distance right here. Force would be the mass times acceleration. Mass would be, uh, let's say, 314 grams times the uh, acceleration due to gravity, which is 9.8 meters per second square, times the moment arm, you know, the, the 110. So that would be 0 0.339 newton meters of torque, dynamic torque going through the system.